Hi, this is Peter the Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing your daily tarot reading here for the 28th of April 2018. And carrying on from yesterday's focus, where we were sort of, you know, very in depth into relationships, and we've got relationships here again. But this time, what's quite interesting is, is we've got the world card coming out, and we've also got the Six of Wands. Now, if we look at them individually, the Six of Wands here is all about a calming down period. So we can look at this as like relationships that can start coming down. And, and if you see here the ripples in the water, that's where we've had the ups and downs in life. But the water here where it's calm, it's like things are getting easier. And then we've also got here the world card, which is like an end of uh, some kind of conclusion. It's like something's coming to an end. But I, as a reader, very intuitive, link things together. And these coming together, because we've got the world in, we've got a trip, a boat over the water. This is signifying a holiday, a trip overseas. It's like we're going on holiday overseas. So I just feel as though this is quite interesting. So I feel so, again, we focus on from relationships. It's like I feel so we've decided what we're doing, where we're kind of going from yesterday a little bit, or we think we have, and we're planning now a trip overseas. And I feel as though we're going to enjoy this holiday and it's going to help us to reconnect as a couple, uh, which is quite good. So let's just pull some more cards out here. Uh, to sort of go uh, crossing that to sort of give us a bit more in-depth feel here right and here I've got the two of wands and if you look in the two of wands here you've got the water again you've also got the globe in this man's hand so it's like we're looking at overseas and and it's like I just get the feeling as if to say as relationships progress it's almost like I feel as though we'll want to travel more we'll want to do more things in life and travel also with the two of ones isn't just about being overseas and either. It's about locally doing different things here. But it's like it feels like we're ready for a break because it's like here we've got things weighing us down a little bit. It's like the burdens of life gain hard. But it just feels like with this as well, we've got to start reaching out for a bit of help. And then here, the third card that I put down here is just where it seems things seem to be a little bit up and down. And it's like we're juggling money. Now, what I'm kind of getting here with this is, we've got the focus on the holiday, the trip overseas, but money's up and down. And it's like, do you know what? Can we afford a holiday abroad? Or should we be traveling more locally? Because with this travel, I don't sort of connect with this overseas. I connect with more locally. It's like we've got the bay, we've got the seaside here. And I know it's not as always a luxurious as sort of, you know, going abroad, is it? You know, especially us being in Britain, if, you know, we, if we, it's for a lot of my UK readers. But even if, you know, I'm looking at people from overseas, it's like, you know, to go abroad, sometimes it's more costly. Sometimes it isn't. I, I think we've got to weigh it up. But it just feels, though, it's it, th th this money here, it's like money's up and down. It's like we're juggling. So we may have to juggle things around to either save the money for the holiday or life's a bit up and down at the moment. It all seems to be quite sort of difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it just feels like got a lot of things to sort out here. But I just feel so now we've got to come together as a couple and we've got to start sorting things out now as if to say, right, how are we going to get together? How are we going to get the money together? And are we going to have this holiday? feels like a real kind of emphasis on this. So let me sort of um, split the cards like I did yesterday. So I've got one pile here and one pile here. See, look, again, it's interesting. It's like lots of things are drawing me to travel, seeing this one here. We've got water here. So we've got water in the Six of Swords. We've got water in the Two of Wands. In fact, there's kind of water in the background here uh, with the Two of Coins. There's the water there, the ripples. So, and then we've got the will card, which is showing overseas connections with water. And now here we've got the three of wands. And if you look at this person here, it's like he's sitting on one island and he's looking at a distant island. And I just get the feeling for some of you, you may think about living abroad. And this is going to be very, very intriguing for you. It's almost like I feel so you could go somewhere perhaps for a holiday abroad. And you might think, oh my God, I absolutely love it here. And, and I, I want to be overseas. So I just feel so, see where all this comes in. But here it's like, we've got our thoughts and ideas. We're looking at overseas. 
and and it just feels oh yeah it's like i've got this strong connection with overseas but i'm also being drawn with this as well overseas connection it isn't just to do with work and i mean it isn't just to do with holidays and um sort of uh thinking about being abroad or whatever it's about thoughts and ideas and i may have overseas connections um whether it be family or work connections maybe a, a business where we connect with overseas you know that's that's quite intriguing and even like for me as a reader you know i do overseas readings so it kind of makes sense for me um so that's interesting so let's just put that back there and then here oh fallout the tower card now this this is not exactly bad but i'm not exactly feeling great with it neither and and it just feels like as if to say you know <sighs> I feel like some of you are going to be having your focus on one holiday and some of you are going to be focusing, oh, we need to get the work done because we've got the ideas here to do with work and overseas. Um, and it just feels like we want to focus on work. So it's like we could be bickering with each other as a couple, bickering, having arguments as if to say, are we having a holiday abroad or not? So, or, or there could be some shock bills coming up around you, other aspects of things going wrong, which may sort of think, do you know what, we can't afford the holiday this year because money is up and down. So it's like we may have to improvise and just perhaps have a couple of short breaks. See, in fact, couple, it's funny how I said that, couple, because we've got one, two. So we could have a couple holidays here. So, yeah, and if I just sort of turn these upside down again and take off the top of the pile. So here we've got the Fool card now. Now, normally I don't look at this as being the Fool. Normally I look at it as if to say, got to take a leap of faith from my thoughts and ideas. But I just feel so I want to draw to the foolishness of it. But more to a point as if to say, don't be too foolhardy with money. I've got to make logical decisions. And then here... See, look, career cards coming out. It's, it's like I feel so we've got to build the money up. We've got to look after the money. We've got to focus on our careers a little bit. You know, because without that, we can't get the money to have the holiday. So it just, I've got this emphasis. We've got to sort money out, work and career or business ideas. So we can increase money. So we can perhaps have this holiday. So maybe you need to take on a part-time job or, or I need to go and push myself to earn more money with my business, my thoughts and ideas. So I can get some more money coming in. Then perhaps we can have this holiday. The holiday might get delayed, but it doesn't mean we won't have it. Might not be this year or might feel so instead of going in the summer we'll perhaps go in the winter so you're pushing the holiday forward uh you know a bit further into the distance so to speak not forward to coming closer forward sort of going a bit more that way uh or backward maybe a, uh, be a better way of me ex explaining myself um so in other words i've got longer time to save for the holiday uh so yeah so it, it just feels quite interesting that does doesn't it so i'm just going to put all this back together again and I just feel, though, as if to say, you know, let's just see what it says here to do with money and holidays. So let me just put a few more cards down to do with money and holidays. Because I seem to get this real focus of holidays. See, here we've got the choice card coming out. It's like we've got to make some wise, positive choices. We're trying to set goals for the future. Trying to make things happen. See, look, the tower card coming out. It's like it's not happening. It's like this, this box or... Maybe we need to delay this holiday, maybe not have it this year, maybe next year. Look here, money worries, concerns over money. So it's like we've got to be careful with the money. But be strong and, and sort things out the best way we can and we will get this holiday. But here it's like I can get a bit bored, a bit fed up with things. So it's like I want to be out there doing things. And, and it's good to, you know, do that because we're getting bored and fed up. But to what expense? And how much pressure is it getting put on the relationship to get this holiday? So that's quite intriguing, isn't it? Oh, that's all kind of come out like that—a real kind of focus on the holiday. So it's like it feels that we 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 wanting a break, and the break would be good for the relationship, but don't need to sort of spend so much on money on a holiday to go and and make things better in your relationship. So it just feels that like that's interesting. So I feel like you need to think very logically what you're doing with money and, and holidays and breaks and travel 
just to get a good time going together to enjoy life a little bit so it's not exactly saying yes it's not exactly saying no but it's just got to be sorted so i hope all that's made sense to you and uh, if you've got any comments please leave some comments and I'll, I'll i'll see if i can answer them for you you know if you want to me go over anything that might sort of sit in your situation a little bit so it's quite interesting so yes so i just feel that so we just just got to be careful of the money so this is peter the clairvoyant i hope you've enjoyed that if you do want any private readings with me please contact me through facebook or through youtube or uh, give me a call uh, on 0758 384 or contact me through peterthecliveoint.co.uk and I'm here for you. So thank you very much and tune in to the next video.